Hi everyone, this is Sarah Catherine Gutierrez back with this week's Save Yourself column and today we are going to talk about PAPAL. This is an acronym for you to get your finances literally in order and what it stands for is get your passwords in order, get your papers in order, make sure you've got your ownership on your accounts the way they need to be, and then yes, get that will or trust. Papow, P-P-O-W. Now let's go through them really quickly. So first of all, we're gonna start with passwords. Folks, if you don't do anything, anything at all for your spouse, do this. I want you to have all of the websites for you to access important information into a password manager. I use LastPass. There's a lot of great ones out there. Don't use the free one. This is such an important detail. I would use a paid version. Get all your passwords in there. And not only is this great for your spouse, if something happens to you, to be able to access anything, it also tells your spouse where things are, right? So that if something happens to you, at least someone could open up this password manager and say, oh, it looks like I've looks like there's a life insurance company here. It looks like <laughs> Let's log in and see, is there a life insurance, um, is there, is there a, a life insurance contract that I should know about? So it's like the ultimate in breadcrumbs. Remember breadcrumbs before were things that came in the mail, statements that came in the mail, life insurance policy, premium notices that came in the mail. A lot of times we don't have that anymore. So we have to create our own breadcrumbs and a password manager can do just that for you. Okay, so moving along. Papers. Folks, I have seen what you wrestle with when you do get those papers in the mail. Where do they go? So you've got stacks and stacks and stacks of, you know, six years of retirement, you know, statement, plan statements or brokerage statements, and they're thick and they're un in unopened envelopes. But mixed in might be that life insurance policy, might be that auto insurance uh, policy, y'all. The problem is you don't wanna create a haystack to then have to find the needle. So what I talk about here is just keep the needles, folks. Like put them in a financial notebook and know what you want to keep. And I lay out those things that when they come in the mail, keep them. The other things, put them on paper lists or shred them throw them out. You don't want the unnecessary things to crowd out the necessary. Third, ownership. Folks, this is very much something you should get legal advice for. I am not an attorney. I can't give you legal advice, but I want you to figure out how you should title your accounts. Who should be on the accounts? Are they, are, are you and your spouse both on your bank accounts on these things? Should you be if not, okay? That's what I want you to figure out here. I want you to go ahead and take that extra step. When you signed up for your retirement account, you might have skipped the step on naming a beneficiary. Please go in. Use this as an opportunity to go in and name your beneficiaries on all of your retirement accounts, folks. Um, and then finally, the W. Folks, I want you to get a will or a trust pronto. Pronto, pronto. This is something that you don't want to delay because we don't get to control this process, folks, okay? So what I want you to do is figure out if you need a will or a trust, one or the other, and then go get it done. Call up an attorney, call up a friend who's an attorney, whatever you have to do, just get it done. And even if it's not perfect, even if you're like, oh, I don't know who my kid should go to, well, gosh, wouldn't you rather like have a less than fully formed opinion of where your kids should go be enacted versus have no opinion and then have the state, the courts figure it out for you. So this is what I want you to do is papal it out. Let's get it done. I promise you will sleep so well at night if you do. Folks, I wish you all happy saving and have a wonderful week.